we have here are some games that I intend to run on the Raspberry Pi. They're a mix of games that I've downloaded off the internet, games that came on the official Linux operating system distribution for the Raspberry Pi, and then one of them is a game that I was working on. Um, I just want to make a quick video to show this. Uh, Danger from Above is what I was working on last year, which was 2011. Of course, now as you can see, this date here is August 23rd, uh, 2012. And it's about to be the 24th in about a minute. All this artwork here is what I have drawn myself. Jack o Lantern, I gotta include that in something else. There's the Blue Jay, uh, the Jesse, it's a frog, and a simple motorcycle, a tree. I like to do sprite art, I think it's neat. And uh, just to let you see what this one does here. Now, I did an earlier video on the Raspberry Pi, uh, which I'm gonna upload soon. Uh, where I'm running this uh, on the Raspberry Pi, but this system that I'm running it on is uh, much, much more powerful than the Raspberry Pi. This one is, um, uh, well, well, the Raspberry Pi has a 700 megahertz ARM 11 processor with a total of 256 megs of RAM of course on the configuration that I've got for my Raspberry Pi 192 meg of RAM is allocated for system 64 megabytes of RAM is allocated for graphics whereas on this computer here that I'm making this video on it's much more powerful it's uh, a 3 gigahertz quad core Intel Core i5 second generation model 2320 um, so once again it's a 3 gigahertz uh, Intel quad core i5 so I have a total of uh, four hardware threads uh, this is not the hyper threading model um, but it's quad core 3 gigahertz I forget how much cache it's got, but I have 8 gigabytes of RAM in this system. And I run Linux on all my systems. A few computers I have Windows installed, but Linux is installed also, and I prefer to run Linux on those systems. Um, so even when I have Windows installed on there, I do I, I dual boot between Windows and Linux with a preference of running Linux. <coughs> <clears throat> now another game I hope to run on the Raspberry Pi which is um, Mario and it's M-A-R-I then the uh, the number zero and um, I'm extracting that here this one will be very interesting um, Apparently it's written in Lua programming language. I'll look that up real quick. Can't make this video too long because the Beeklebotics YouTube channel, which I just started up, um, it uh, it only has like a 10 or 15 minute limitation. Okay. Linux, Mac OS, and then Windows. I like this. It's pretty good. Uh, pretty good thing. Uh, it's uh, preference on Linux. Uh, you can tell this person was a programmer already. All right, 2D prat, play, uh, platform. Now, what programming language does it says? Um. Does it say it's in Lua?
I've been hearing about things, projects, programming Lua. <coughs> Lightweight multi -pro, uh, paradigm programming language. <coughs> Excuse me. And, um, Lua, okay, so it's cross platform. And it's scripting language. Lightweight multi. Uh, okay. Is it high level or not? Uh, Game Monkey, that's interesting. Well, already because um, it's uh, cross platform and it was written in C. Uh, I already like that. Um, I think that's a good start. Let's see. Oh, it's got garbage collection. <coughs> wonder if it's automatic. Uh, I wonder what the. Oh, <laughs> print hello world, and that's it. Oh, that's interesting. I might, I might try some of that one day. Native threading, that's interesting. Some of these, uh, these are fascinating. Here. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, the reason why, why I like, um, Mario. And see, Windows, Linux, Mac, and you can get the source code. Check out this video. all kind of neat stuff these people do. Oh, that was cool. Um, so you can shoot up. Oh, man, they do all kind of neat stuff. Alright. That's enough of that. Now let's see if we go about running it. start at looking for <coughs> you know we can probably run the readme and okay the readme file
Everything's a Lua file. But, if I can use Genie. I'm going to stop this video for right now. It's probably gone on too long.